Greetings, comrades! I think I'm gonna be back with part 5 of Doom Real Episode 1, Moonblood. And yep, believe it, four more days till Christmas. Looking forward to it. Already got my gifts ready, and uh, I'm pretty much good with my end. I got my new chair, my new uh, controller. I ordered a controller stand, but it's not gonna come to it for a few weeks, but that's fine. So, I'm good. I get everybody else's gifts, so you know that's good. So yeah, just gotta finish playing some Warframe. Now that Vara Prime is uh, now out in the open, I actually got our chassis. Well, not the chassis, the Roptics and the blueprint itself. Now I just need the uh... yeah, just need the systems and the chassis. But uh... those are an axial deal reps, respectively. So. Naturally, it'll be a while. Give me a second here. There we go. So yeah, uh... Not much going on as far as Doom's concerned, though I did download a new mod called Meat Grinder. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, but it's basically Brutal Doom for, like, slaughter maps. Made from the same guy, Sergeant Mark IV. Like, you saw the dismemberment and stuff, but no fatalities and stuff like that, but... You got a faster-firing minigun, a faster-firing plasma rifle, a faster-firing BFG, a rapid-fire rocket launcher, and the, uh, regular shotgun's an auto shotgun, and the super shotgun is now pump action. Oh, and your, uh, pistol's replaced with a light machine gun. So that's cool. And the uh, chainsaw attacks faster, of course, and so do your fists, so... That is something cool. I might do it in my next YouTube uh, series. Um, yeah, so many mods, you know, so few days off. But yeah, it's my day off, I'm off tomorrow, and of course I'll be off Christmas Day, but two days before that, they're gonna be hell. Not as bad as Thanksgiving, but it'll still be bad. Definitely looking forward to Christmas Day, though. Still need to get our turkey. I still have my coupon, but... The ones that has... The ones at the store so far are kind of small. Like, they're not even 10 pounds. And the, uh... Coupons are like 12 to 14 pounds. I I'm pretty sure I can still use it, but... I kind of want to get the most out of the turkey, so, yeah. I might check another store later. Yeah, not much. Just open a bunch of relics. Got a few new things from Barrow. Including that flamethrower everyone's been using, the Ignis Wraith. Yeah, but it's pretty good. Especially if you get the uh, Sinister Reach mod, which like it greatly increases the range of your rifles and stuff. So the flamethrower, <laughs> yeah. He's got a reach. <laughs> oh, for a second, I thought I was stuck. <laughs> anyway, uh... I almost got the Supra Vandal. It wasn't with a Supra, it was like a little machine gun for the corpus. Okay. Let's just use this thing. Yeah, this way else I'm using the zoomed in HUD. I could do it without the screen movement whenever you reload the weapon. It's so much disorienting when you're moving around. If you're standing still, it's not that big of a deal, but when you're moving around, then it's like... Okay, is that really necessary? Yeah, and when you fidget around with the gun, it's kind of annoying. Oh boy, so, uh... Get the Steam Winter Sales going on, uh... Aren't too many games I'm trying to buy, though, uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, 11's on sale. $24, and, like, $36 for the Premium Edition, which I'm gonna get that. I'm not gonna get it until next week, though, because I, I heard, you know, I already spent quite a bit of money on my gift cards for my folks and my nephew. So, I'm gonna know where to get more than The sale goes on until January 2nd, so... It's not a huge priority for me. 
Yeah, and, and, yeah, as I mentioned with Warframe, I'm not gonna buy Var Prime, but I'm, I'm gonna grind for her. I already got two different points. I, just, I have a few Meso and Axie Relics. Or, no, Neo and Axie Relics. So I'm gonna be, you know, opening those. Hopefully I'll come across some of that as a Navarre Prime part. And of course, I gotta make the, the components, then I can make uh, Navarre Prime. But you know, easier said than done. What do you expect? I just realized I haven't really gone in the red key door. Well, don't need to now. I don't really care at this point. <laughs> Warcraft's Iron Keep. This is a secret level after all, so yeah. I forgot that I stopped at a secret level in the previous video. The Marine! It wasn't the first time that Hell would have broken into UAC's Ganymede facility. In the early days, demons invaded through a crater in the volcano. Marine was able to stop the attack and rescue the prisoners, but it was already too late. Her mind was corrupted and she accepted the sacrifice of survivors for a promise of peace. It's kind of dark. Got a fairly sizable map here. First blood, don't kill. Oh, this isn't the actual music of the, wa of the wad, it's just uh, the Unreal Music mod. That's how to use in correlation with this, because why not? Well, they were doing tournaments, so I'm going to do Unreal. Yeah, I'm going to show it off Meat Grinder. Um, I kind of want to find a Slaughter Map Pack that isn't Chillax. Because we already know about Chillax. I kind of want to mix it up a bit. I mean, there is combat shock. Those are kind of short. Also has a little more, little more longevity. I'll give me a second. Need to get some real quick. All right, I'm back. Had to get something to drink. I was a little boisty. Right, oh no, it's a small ball. Oh, wait, do I have... Wait, how did I turn on no clip? Oh, I'm confused. I don't remember turning on no clip. I swear, I do, not, I do not recall turning on no clip. I didn't know I had a bound or a key. I don't know which one, though, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to brace myself for Christmas. It, well, we're, it, Christmas Eve isn't as bad as the day before Thanksgiving. But it's still bad. But on the upside, we close earlier. Like Thanksgiving usually close at midnight, but uh, Christmas Eve we close around eight o'clock. Right, I'm scheduled till ten, so I'm pretty much gonna be staying behind, you know, cleaning the place up, which you know, is my job after all. But at least I'll have some help. Because once the last uh, guest leaves, we can uh, tidy the place up, and close things down. Maybe if we're lucky, get a few, uh, free gubbins, because occasionally they'll have, like, uh, free stuff to give away, like, you know, some leftover bread or, you know, ready meals, whatever. You know, tis the season. It's generous, though. Tis better to give than to receive, they say. I kinda wanna... I kinda wanna do a Christmas stream for Warframe. So, uh... What I wanna do is uh, have my lamp be red and the, uh... My light strip be green. I need to get a new light strip later. This one's starting... It's kinda on its last leg. I've had it for a few years. 
10,000 hour life span. Please. If I go find another store, there's like 20, 25 dollars on Amazon. I don't think it's super fancy or anything. Just, you know, suddenly, you know, give my desk a little more flair. Okay, now, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you all, um... Uh... I do like this mod, but, uh... I don't know, I like my weapons to have a little more punch. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, you got this huge-ass mag gun. You got the auto cannon, but, you know... And these are faithful to the... Actually, these are direct rips from the game. But, uh... I don't know, Unreal's... Well, aside from the flat cannon, Unreal's, uh... Also doesn't quite... Wow me as much as other first person shoes, you know what I'm saying? Like, this gun here is basically the rocket launcher. I'm not sure why it's called the 8-ball, but... His ETA, you can... Shoot it as grenades, but... You can do that with the... Unreal Tournament rocket launcher, too. I mean... This here... I don't know. It, it feels kind of slow for me. As a flamethrower, you know, you know what it's gonna do. It's basically a reskin bio rifle, but shoots like, you know, napalm instead of you know, biohazard materials or whatever. And you got the shock rifle, you know, it's, yeah, it's got this weird clamshell, which honestly, this weapon's kind of underwhelming for me. Look, I'm just rambling at this point, but you know. This gun here, which... You know, I'd rather use a minigun. And there's this gun, which isn't even in the actual Unreal game. But it's from, you know, dug out thanks to modders. This guy, I forgot what this is, but whatever. But, you know, this is a cool mod, I'm not gonna lie, it's just, uh... Again, I like my weapons to have a little more punch. You know, that's why, you know, I like mods like Russian Overkill, Guncast, you know... Even Project Brutality. Those weapons actually have, you know, that stopping power, you know? Like, if you put on a higher difficulty, your weapons will still do a decent amount of damage. Some of these weapons, to me, feel a little weak. You know, keep in mind, I play a lot of Doom and Quake and stuff. I don't really play on real that much, even though I do have them. Most of the games in my library. Which I'll definitely visit them at some point. You know, what's the point of buying a game if I'm not going to play it, right? You know? I do like this gun. This gun's kind of cool. So, I got some guns are good, some eh, kind of meh. But, you know... You could say that for any first-person shooter arsenal. Even Doom's guilty of that. Don't Not just classic Doom, modern Doom, too. Still looking forward to Eternal. Yeah, I'll probably wait till Christmas Day to get uh, Mortal Kombat 11, by the way. Yeah, yeah it's a little sidetracked there, but anyway. Yeah, Doom real. Fun mod, but, uh... I'm just gonna say it. I play better weapon mods. There, said it. Still a great mod, mainly because of this, you know. Like I said, you put a flat can in my hands and it's over. Though, granted, I'm playing against, like, multiplayer bots, not, you know, Doom monsters. It's a different experience altogether. That's kind of the idea. Still faithful, so you know. Got that. I don't even know what map I was on earlier before I got to the secret levels. No, I haven't gone that far. I mean, these aren't these aren't huge maps, but uh, I kind of took my time with some of them because you know, I mean. I need to turn on my light real quick. I'm not going to do a pause. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay, so I had the I need the right key to get out of here. Are you here? I have no idea. <laughs> See, I don't even get a direct hit to kill. Actually, let's go over here first. I haven't explored this area too much. Well, there is here, but can I go there, can I? Okay, I'm spending too much time on these secret levels. I might just, you know, for the sake of priority, just no clip to the exit. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna... Oh yeah, the yellow key door. Well, go there. That would be nice. Do I have a jetpack? Is there a jetpack? I don't think so. Nope. Yeah, the uh, misleading voice box. Because, you know, all people talk like this. That's a typical typical conversation in Beirut, you know. That doesn't have even one more one. I'll admit this is one of the cool weapons in this mod. That reminds me of Raiden. I mean, it's not the most powerful thing, but it is cool. Okay, this is very powerful, so let's just still. There we go. Oh, there is. Let's see, a little message. No, just a YouTube notification. Four one, okay. Throw so a map sixteen. Okay, decent amount of progress. Let's here we go. Because I only have two days off a week. So that's, really, that's why it takes me a while to finish these uh, map packs in one episode. Not one video, one episode. It could be a series of videos. It could be like it could be three videos, it could be five, it could be like 27, you never know. Should we 27 
the videos I was playing legit. Like, no mods whatsoever, but come on. Still a very unwieldy weapon if you try to dual wield it. Not that you can, but you know. <coughs> there are the possibility, then the GC has to pay off. Oh yeah, I need to spawn the actual BFGs. Not those. There we go. Because the black packs don't replenish your super weapon uh, ammo. Invisible wall, okay. Can't shoot him. What kind of fuck is that? Let's try this one. No same spot. Also the same one, okay. So jump down. Work the voice box. This time we're gonna deploy it. It might work better if the enemies are unaware of my presence. Okay, uh. Can't go in there. Music. Hold on here. A little supply cache here. Let's try that. Does not work. I guess I was just put it just because it could. Oh, yeah, those flares, bro. <coughs> Use it for lighting up dark areas, but uh, not too many dark areas in this map, so in this map pack's context, they're kind of useless. If only we were to get many, that many kills in a Halo Reach. I mean, it's possible to firefight. So I guess next time I play Halo Reach, I'll play some firefight. I normally grind uh, for XP on Griff Ball. Grant legitimate XP, not those AFK farms, which they, which uh, three people actually dealt with them. In a little statement earlier, which is good. As I want to level up as much as the next guy, but it is possible to earn medals and play the game legitimately. I'm not sure if those uh, farmers are aware of that. <coughs> okay. 
Okay, uh, I forgot where I was supposed to go. Did I switch? Not sure what that switch did. That's where I got the key. So, forgot that switch opened up. It's been a while since I played Moonblood. I remember, that's handy. I think we'll show the keys, but I guess not. Because I need the yellow key to progress. It's not in there. Oh, there you are. Okay, okay. I guess one of those switches open this up. Ready? Yeah, whatever. So... I'm pretty much going to start uh, publishing my videos in 2160p. Granted, it's going to take a lot longer to process, but it'll be worth it. Because the quality of the video is somewhat better. And not that you notice, because I, I make these videos in window mode. In 1600 by 900. That's mainly because I want to keep the Bandicam thing visible so I can make sure my uh, audio is going through. Because I've had a few times in the past where you, uh, I record and I realize it didn't catch my audio. So this way I can see, make sure it is working. It would be a problem if I had a double monitor setup, which I don't. I used to use my laptop as a secondary monitor, but not anymore. Because it's pretty much wireless. And it's finicky at best. <clears throat> Think Joel would like this map? I don't know. Oh boy. I wonder if this one's going to go out. Instead of two or more maps that I'll end the video, but you know, I'll keep doing just two or three maps per video, then this episode's going to take forever. It's like a bunch of videos. In a way, I guess Eustace is kind of like Firefight. You get the multi-kills and stuff, and not worry about losing all that. Unless you're a completely terrible Doom player. Oh boy. Oh man. I don't like how I kept calling it the Enforcer, that's what it's called in Unreal Tournament. But I play more Unreal Tournament than I do actual Unreal. So you'll forgive my ignorance for some of the weapons and stuff. As well as how powerful they're, they're meant to be. Well, like I said, just I need the uh, blue key. And I have no idea where to start looking. Because I'm an idiot. And I haven't played this map in a long time. That's definitely too. There's blue key. Well, I know where it is. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I'm an idiot. Don't I have like a Don't I have this ability to work? No, it does not. Well, it's just as useless as Doom's invisibility. Motion detector. Now that's handy. Wouldn't 
it's not really detecting movement, but it is, you know, pointing at enemy locations, so that's good. So... You know, I say so a lot, I don't, I don't know, it's just... No. It's just me. So yeah, any games you're all looking forward to getting in the Steam Summer Sale? Or, sorry, Winter Sale, see... It's been a stressful week for me, okay? It's only gonna get worse next week. At least, uh, Monday and Tuesday. I'm sure things will settle down a good bit once the holidays are over, though. There's still New Year's Eve. I guess if anything, people will just be, you know, getting drunk and, you know, fucking shit up. Oh, now! This is what it works. So long as I don't attack anything, they won't attack me. Once I kill something, then, like, there he is. Get him. Oh boy! Oh shit. Dude, you gotta time your walks. Man, timing's so erratic, you have to like... It's not like you can memorize them, they move at different speeds. sit back real quick to uh, rest my neck and scoop my board a little more. There we go. Can we get a proper cushion for this chair? Maybe in the future. I'm pretty sure there's, one, there's something like similar to it already, but I won't be surprised if it's a Halo bot for Doom. I didn't see anything, but it's still blocked off. Which means there's another switch somewhere I have to flip. Maybe over there. I forgot how you... Is there another switch over here? Damn, I forgot. Gotta be another switch somewhere. Nope. Teleporter. Hmm, maybe 
these fellas will come in handy here. Hmm. Nothing here. Oh, there's a switch. That's not good. Oh no, it looks okay, okay, okay. Once again, my stupidity knows no bounds. You know, at this point, it feels like I'm the type of guy who forgets to flip the on switch in the power supply before turning on the computer. Oh well. I just need to eat more fish, that's all. Anyway, in the 36 minute mark now, so this is part 5 of Doom Reel Episode 1, Moonblood. I'll try to have another video up sometime tomorrow. And yeah, this is Evergiving Caleb, signing out.